epic cell phone video show the moments after a Whitfield County Sheriff's patrol car slammed into a trailer and caught fire. You can see the flames there consuming that patrol car. The Georgia State Patrol says that the deputy failed to stop at a stop sign on Highway 52 in Hall County, and that's when it crashed into a camper that a truck was pulling at the time. Well, that camper overturned in the accident, and amazingly, the truck's driver was not seriously injured. Well, Fox 5's Patty Pan has that driver's reaction just moments after the crash. Well, at this point, Georgia State Patrol says it appears it was a deputy who failed to stop at a stop sign. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. The deputy and the two inmates were taken to an area hospital with minor injuries. It's dramatic cell phone video of a Whitfield County patrol cruiser up in flames. Seconds later, black smoke billows out. This was the scene at Georgia 52 and Clark's Bridge Road in Hall County early Monday morning. According to Georgia State Patrol, preliminary findings show the patrol car was traveling east on Georgia 52, ran a stop sign and crashed into a Dodge pickup truck pulling a toy hauler camper. The impact disconnected the toy hauler from the pickup and eventually overturned. The cruiser caught fire on impact. The other party ran a stop sign, plowed right into the trailer. Uh, it happened to be a police officer who wasn't familiar with the area and and uh, didn't see the stop sign. Stephen Gallo was in the pickup with his wife. Authorities have identified the deputy as Rosalita Pachicho. They say she was on her way to Alto State Prison with two inmates identified as Amanda Nicole Townsend and Hillary Marie McCain. Medics took all three to an area hospital with minor injuries. From the impact, she kind of went under the trailer, uh, lifted the trailer and flipped it. Uh, and because it basically scrunched the op cop car, took all the fuel lines, I'm sure, with it, and it just started on fire. And then, uh, you know, it got worse from there as the fuel started catching on fire. Georgia State Patrol says this case is still under investigation, but that charges are pending. I'm Patty Pan for Fox 5 News. A police chase